Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to speed test your Chromecast or Android TV. Now this is going to be a quick one because I really just wanted to show you this cool new Android app. Basically, if you have a Chromecast or any Google Cast compatible device like the Nexus Player, it's an incredibly easy way to test your connection. I know a lot of folks have had network issues when casting content from the phone to the big screen, so this would be a great first step for diagnosing network problems. The app is called QuickCast, or maybe it's pronounced QuickCast, I'm not quite sure, but it's available on the Google Play Store for free. So search it by name to get it installed, or just use the link in step 1 of my full tutorial to skip straight to the download page. From here, make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Google Cast device. Then tap the Cast icon at the top of the screen and choose your Chromecast or Android TV. Once the connection is made, you'll see a button in the middle of the screen here. So go ahead and tap that to start the speed test. From here, the rest of the action will happen over on the TV. So let me switch camera angles real quick. Now this is using speedof.me to test the connection and to make sure to find the nearest server to get accurate results. And just like any speed test, it measures the download speed first, then does the upload speed after that. When the test is done, you'll get a report on both of your speeds, and you'll also get a latency measurement. All this information is telling you how quickly your Chromecast is connecting to external servers, so the local connection between your phone and the TV is not really a factor here. So like I said, it's a great starting point for troubleshooting Google Cast network issues, and at the very least, it's worth an install just to see how fast your connection is. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.